What's up guys, Beastly Gamer here. So PlayStation Network is still down. Here we are the day after Christmas and no one's able to get online. Some people are able to log in. Some people are even able to get into the PlayStation Store. I've been able to do both. I've been able to look at the PlayStation Store. I've been able to get into it and, and navigate, but you can't really download anything. Uh, and if you are able to download anything, it doesn't work because you can't get online. This is a major issue. Xbox Live actually came back online today. So people playing the Xbox 360 and the Xbox One are able to access online functionality. Uh, Call of Duty, Advanced Warfare, Destiny, these games are working on the Xbox. They got their systems back up and running. Sony is a little bit slower than Microsoft in this regard. Obviously, they're having more issues uh, rem remedying this uh, DDoS attack, which is really uh, a bummer. It's a downer for me, a downer for a lot of you guys. You only get one Christmas a year. And uh, the Lizard Squad, hashtag fuck the lizards, has uh, really put a damper on the holidays. And I know a lot of you younger kids out there who don't have a lot of games or you only have a few games to play are really feeling that. And uh, I feel bad for all you guys, especially you youngsters out there who are looking forward to an awesome game and you're una unable to play it. Now, my question is this. Now that Christmas has been basically destroyed for many, many hundreds of thousands of people around the country, will Sony and Microsoft offer some form of gratuity to the gamers? Will they give you something uh, as a, a gift for screwing up your Christmas? And I, I, I put part of the blame on Microsoft and Sony because this has happened already. There should be some kind of safeguards put in place uh, to stop this from happening on a reoccurring basis. You know, I know DDoS attacks are not really your typical hacks. It's overloading your servers or traffic, so there's not much you can do there. I don't know. I'm not really a, a hacker. I don't know the infrastructure of the online servers, but you would think that these multi-billion dollar companies would have some form of, of uh, firewall or security against this type of traffic. I mean, you got Microsoft. They are the internet. They they help create the, the PC. They are the PC. They should have uh, infrastructures set in place to stop this. Sony should have its own group of hackers in their offices. They're able to uh, intercept this type of activity and stop it before it happens. Before you end up with hundreds of thousands, potentially millions of dissatisfied customers. Shit happens. Companies get screwed over all the time. But you would think at some point after getting screwed over once that you'd figure out, okay, this is what we need to do to stop it from happening again. A great man, I think his name was George Bush, he said, fool me once, shame on you. Can't get fooled again. I mean, you shouldn't be fooled again. <laughs> you shouldn't be screwed over that second time. Hopefully we get our games back soon and we're online able to play these awesome games. I hope Sony and Microsoft offer some form of gratuity. Uh, they need to really do do a damn a much better job than they've been doing uh, with their, their online services. I want to know what you guys think. What should happen to the Lizard Squad if they're caught? If the Lizard Squad is caught and they're, they're ousted and their identities are known, what do you think that the authorities and the powers that be should do to this group of people? Let me know in the comments below. Hope you guys enjoyed the footage. As you guys can see, it's a game you don't have to play online. And it's awesome. Best game of the year. I'm serious. This game is probably my, my pick of the year. As always, thumbs up if you guys enjoyed the video. You know the thumbs up mean a